Hi, I'm Will Shafroth with the National Park Foundation, and I'm joined by Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, who represents New York's 21st Congressional District. Congresswoman, thank you for agreeing to spend some time with me today to discuss your leadership on behalf of our national parks. I'm excited to be here, Will. I am a big supporter of our national parks and appreciate all you do at the National Park Foundation. Tell me about what parks and open space and nature and history and culture mean to you. Well, I um, think back to when I was growing up, um, the history, uh, these cultural institutions and our national parks and national resources were very much a part of my upbringing. I always tell my colleagues in Congress that I really represent the cradle of the American Revolution. I know that you step right into the, the conversation about a number of issues related to national parks and engaging young people in our national parks. So um, talk a bit about, you know, why national parks uh, and these issues are important to you. Well, conservation is an important part of our economy in northern New York. Uh, conservation and our natural resources really are economic drivers, uh, not just our tourists, but our small businesses in these communities. I also think we are finding that young people are explorers. They want to learn uh, about their resources around them. They want to learn about their country. And the national park system is a great way for young Americans to really be engaged in their nation's history, but also be engaged in um, you know, physically fit ways of exploring this country. Let's talk a bit about the role um, of, of women in our nation's history. And uh, as you're aware that coming up very soon, this 100th anniversary of the passage of the 19th Amendment, which gave at least some women the right to vote in this country. And, um, you know, we, we as the foundation have been doing a lot to try to begin to highlight those efforts, but I'm sure you must have thought about this. And, and so just give me some general thoughts about, you know, the role of women in this country and the need for our parks to, to highlight the, their contributions to this country. I'm so grateful that the parks are highlighting and prioritizing this important commemoration of the centennial of women's suffrage. Uh, it's another area that's deeply tied into my district. I represent Johnstown, New York, which is the birthplace of Elizabeth Cady Stanton. As a woman in Congress today, I know that I would not have the opportunity to serve were it not for those courageous, outspoken advocates who fought for uh, the women's right to vote. And I'm still focused on ensuring that we have women's involvement at all levels of government. I've been very focused on recruiting women to run for office. And I think it's important that we have women of all political backgrounds uh, to make sure that we're reflective of the American population. We have more women running for Congress than ever before in our nation's history this year. Mm. That is exciting for this country, no matter what political party you're from. I have many women mentors who are currently my colleagues in Congress who encouraged me when I started the process of running. And I hope that I can be a role model for uh, not only future women running for office, but future women pursuing leadership positions in any industry. Anything else on your mind um, about this important subject? Well, I'm just so honored to be an advocate on behalf of our park system, on behalf of the important funding that goes towards conservation efforts as well as maintenance efforts for these, you know, really hallmark um, natural resources in this country. And thank you for your time today um, and all that you do support the national parks and our National Park Foundation as well. So great, great conversation, Congresswoman.